Hey guys, good morning. Um, it is 6.20 on Monday the 4th. And I was actually supposed to get up at 6 and work out. It's a miracle, honestly, that I'm up right now. Um, but I'm just going to eat breakfast because I am so sore. So sore from my workout on Saturday. Um, so I'm probably going to just work out tonight. But right now I'm just getting... My breakfast in the fridge, which is some overnight oats, um, and I'm gonna watch the news, wake up, drink some coffee or some tea, and um, take a shower and get to work. So I have not been up this early for years. Like honestly, I don't wake up until like eight <laughs> normally. So. Um, yeah, this is like pretty crazy for me. So, um, uh, maybe get some stretching in before I take a shower, but definitely not working out this morning because it hurts. <laughs> so I might work out later tonight when I get home, um, right before I cook dinner. So I will see y'all later. Bye. I just got home and I am still fully dressed in my work clothes. Um, I have to prep dinner and then I actually, I really want some wine first of all, but there's no alcohol on this, um, this like seven day clean eating challenge, which is, I don't, I don't know why I'm doing this thing. I already, <sighs> ugh, okay, I'm just going to drop all the cameras everywhere. So, um, I still have to work out, I still have to prep dinner um, and take the dog out so there's a lot going on today I actually did get up early um, I ended up waking up at 550 uh, and I snoozed for 10 minutes so I actually woke up at 6 um, which is great it's actually freaking awesome because I never wake up early I hate waking up early but I didn't work out because I was incredibly sore from doing a tone it up workout where I had to do squats and deadlifts and um, what else, like lunges. So I wasn't having it, my legs weren't having it, <laughs> my hamstrings are like super sore. And I, I proved to myself today that I could wake up early to work out, but the hard part, um, I think it's gonna be this, is like working all day, getting home when it's dark outside, still having to walk the dog some nights because Brian's at work a little bit late, um, and then prepping dinner and getting everything ready for us and getting breakfast and lunch ready for the next day. Like, it's just a lot. So it's it's planning, really. Um, and I think I said that in uh, the first video where I mentioned the challenge, but I think that is why it's a challenge because you know, it was easy to like prep on Sunday when I had nothing going on, but now I have work and I have to be somewhere and I have to be on time and I have to factor all of that in and then factor my eating and my workouts in too. So I'm going to get changed to get dinner in the oven and then work out while I'm cooking dinner um, since I wouldn't be doing anything else anyway. And I will see you guys in just a little bit. Bye. glass all over the floor because I'm a dumb dumb and I set the fire alarm off and yeah. then we were trying to get the smoke away we hit the lamp and broke it hit the, hit the cover. or the cover for the lamp and broke it so now we don't have a cover for our lamp and we have glass all over our floor and we're going to office which is super cool Hey guys, it is Tuesday, Tuesday? When, mm, no, it's Tuesday. Gosh, this week is going by so, so freaking slow and it's like been hard. 
Um, it's been a miracle that I've been able to actually cook every single meal. Um, it's kind of crazy to me, actually. Um, I think the worst things have been getting up early. Um, the first day I got up at like 5.50, almost 6 in the morning, which was awesome. Um, but today I didn't get up until 7.30, so I didn't work out. Um, I had to eat breakfast at work. I couldn't like take my time to eat it at home. So that was kind of bad. And then the other thing is just like being tired um, when I get home. I am starving. I am so hungry. So freaking hungry. Like so hungry. So um, I'm pretty much just going to walk the dog and get dinner prepped. Actually... One more thing that I want to say about this clean eating challenge, and I'm having like problems with white balance right now. Um, you know, this, the challenge itself, I think is awesome. And in a way it does accommodate for people with busy schedules because it's planning. Like you prep stuff beforehand, you make sure that you have everything that you need and it's in order and it's ready to go. But like, there's this factor of like not wanting to do this and going for the convenience and going for what's easy even though I know that like it's not the best thing because I just don't feel like it's an excuse I will put an asterisk by that like a million times it is an excuse but I just don't have the time like between the hour commute on the way home between getting home and walking the dog and like still having to work out some days, still having to cook a full dinner, still having to do all the dishes from the dinner that I had to cook and the snacks and the meals that I had to prep. Like it is one of the most difficult things to keep up with this because when you are responsible for all of these other parts of your life, you don't have time. You, you have to make time. You have to carve out time. You have to push yourself. You have to tell yourself like, I want this more than I want to be tired or I want this more than I want to be hungry or I want this more than I want to go have a glass of wine with my friends. Like you have to want it more than anything else for it to work. And I think I just have to find my motivation. I think that's the biggest part of it is that I'm motivated to do this, but there's always this creeping feeling in the back of my mind like I don't have time like how am I how am I gonna do this how and then when I weigh myself like you know it's only been <laughs> since Sunday so three days so I shouldn't expect like crazy results but I do like I've been eating healthy I had a slice of chocolate cake so I did cheat a little bit but like I just I get upset at myself and I get annoyed with myself because I am not making progress as fast as I want to and then and I know like again like I said it's only been three days since I've been doing this but like I just remember being at a point where like I could do pull-ups and I could do push-ups and I could do sit-ups and I could run a mile in 11 minutes and I would go to the gym every day and I would lace up my shoes and I wouldn't let anything stop me and I could deadlift 125 pounds and I could bench press 200 pounds like those things are like the things that I miss and I am frustrated and annoyed with myself because I let them go and then I think to myself that's your motivation like you let it go do better next time do better this time keep doing better after that don't let it go again it's not fair to yourself it's not fair to the people you love it's not fair to anyone so I just got like this rush of like anger and like madness and I'm so upset with myself but it's the way I feel like that's the way that it is it's the way that like That's what happens. So it's Thursday, almost the end of the week, um, and I am about to walk to work. 
Um, not from my house, but sometimes if you get in, like, after a certain time, you basically have to park, like, a mile away from the office, and then if you get there even later, <laughs> you don't get a ride, you have to walk. So, they do offer a shuttle, but I am a little late for the shuttle, so I'm gonna get some steps from my Apple Watch. Do you see? Look at the car. Mm. Look at like how bad that rain is coming down. Man. That's crazy. We're gonna take Lily out on our like a boat tomorrow morning. And we actually had a very bad day in our <laughs> clean eating challenge. Uh, mine was actually better than Brian's because I ate one of the meals at least. Um, but we had a bad dinner. Oh, your cup's not over there anymore. We had Whataburger for dinner. Whataburger. And I actually will not apologize because it was so good and so needed. And I had the biggest headache today. And after I ate Whataburger, it was all better, which is totally horrible. But we're going to do better tomorrow. Um, way better tomorrow. And it's actually, I had some like footage of it before you can't really see it now but it is raining so badly outside um, it's like downpouring and there's lightning and really loud thunder and it sounds really bad outside so it's gonna be interesting trying to venture to work tomorrow um, Brian's staying home because his car is broken for a little while so it's getting fixed this week and so he'll get to be inside all day, but hopefully the weather actually clears up because Houston is kind of awful. When it drizzles, people just go crazy and traffic just becomes like terrible. Traffic's always terrible, but it's even worse when there's even a little bit of rain. So is there anything you want to say? You never say anything. This is kind of my thing. I like to remain quiet on the vlogs. <laughs> well, quiet one over here is going to stay quiet and look at whatever he's looking at on his laptop. And we're going to watch the X-Files probably like one more episode or so and then go to bed. So we will check in tomorrow and let you know how our clean eating challenge goes. I think we're ready for steak day. I think that's like... That's the day that we're ready for. Steak and asparagus and like some potatoes. That's gonna be our day. We skipped today because it was cauliflower rice and we just, neither of us were like into that. We bought the cauliflower, but I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Maybe like cauliflower pizza crust I've heard is really good um, and pretty simple to make and it's super crunchy and you can put like anything on it. And I think I have some pizza sauce um, left over from some time ago when I made pizza and could probably put some like good veggies on it and that can make up for our Whataburger tonight. So that's about it. Um, we will see you tomorrow. So I realized that I do a lot of vlogs from the car um I'm at HEB today it's like a Sunday you can see the little sign over there it's a Sunday it's 12 39 I will never go to the grocery store at this time ever again it was so crowded I it took me 10 minutes to park I was able to find a cart luckily but it was just like chaos in there I'm I can't do that again, so I'm on my way home. Um, I'll tell you guys the story about why I went to HEB um, so early on a Sunday, because I'm an idiot, that's why, but 
um, basically Brian had to work and his car's in the shop so we've been carpooling for a couple days and so I dropped him off at work this morning and the HEB um, on Buffalo Speedway is the closest one so I just went there thinking like oh I'll save some time <sighs> never again So I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the BuzzFeed Clean Eating Challenge. Um, that was kind of like the whole basis for the vlog this week. Um, it was really, really cool to try and change the way that Brian and I thought about eating. We for so long split up our groceries, we never shopped together, you know, we didn't take the time to think about what each other was eating and it was kind of like we would just go on our separate ways when we started to eat. This week was full of a bunch of milestones. So it was the first week that we had actually combined our money to shop for groceries. So we ended up both spending less because we combined and we were able to get more. That was awesome. That was super cool. And then it was the first week that I've cooked every single meal, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and two snacks a day for both of us. So we ate the same exact thing every single day, no modifications for one of us or the other based on what we liked. And we really tried hard to love the recipes because we wanted to give this a good go. Um, and it being the first of the year and making resolutions to be a little bit healthier and really trying, we thought we can't just skip out on what we don't like. So we actually did skip out on what we didn't like twice. Um, so we missed two meals of all of the meals this week, which were 35 meals. Um, we ate five times a day for seven days, which is pretty awesome. So two meals outside of that is actually pretty good. Uh, and the only reason that we skipped them was because we really didn't like the way that they were cooked and neither of us liked the ingredients. I'm not a very picky eater, but I there were two meals where I was like, I don't wanna do this at all. And the two days actually that we skipped were days where I worked really late and I would have had to come home after eight o'clock, still cook dinner for us and get our last snack of the day ready and prep for the next day. So it just turned out to be bad timing. But the biggest thing that I could say about the BuzzFeed Clean Eating Challenge and what it made me think about was planning and preparation. Um, I think that a lot of times when you're trying to just think about the way that you eat and change it, you don't really think about planning. You don't really think about preparation. You kind of think or actually you do those are the things that you think of when you're trying to change what you're doing but when you're when it's the opposite when that's not where you are all you're thinking is I can just eat whatever I want I can if I'm hungry I'm gonna eat I'm not gonna plan it I'm just gonna grab something and snack on it um, and this clean eating challenge made us be really conscious about what we were eating and you know there were a few times I mean I had a slice of chocolate cake earlier in the week I I skipped two of the dinners um, and so things like that you know they're just gonna come up like you are gonna have to adapt to how you change um, but planning and preparation for most of the week really kept us on track um, and it kept us eating healthy and it made sure that we were full and we were satisfied and but then that we were still um, happy with the food that we were eating so I think of all of the things that I got out of this planning and preparation are 
the the biggest parts of it. Uh, I really used that when I went to the grocery store today. I meal planned yesterday using a Google Doc that I'll link below if you're interested in any of what we're eating and any of the recipes. And then I went shopping based on that plan. So I made sure that I planned ahead, I prepared for it, um, and now we are you know, set up for this week, which is gonna be amazing. So yeah, that was my biggest takeaway. I mean, the food was good. There was maybe one recipe that I really, really loved that I would probably do again. Um, maybe two. Uh, I really loved the uh, spinach, what was it? Spinach, sweet potato, and onion frittata for breakfast on our first day. And then I absolutely adored the acorn squash stuffed turkey, turkey stuffed, turkey stuffed acorn squash. And that was amazing. That was one of my absolute favorites. So uh, those two we're going to keep in our repertoire and repeat. Uh, but other than that, I think it was just good for us to really jumpstart what we were doing and take processed foods out of our diet, at least for a week, just to make sure that we're starting off what we're both wanting to do in a good way. And we both want to be healthy for each other. We both want to live for a long time with each other and for each other. And so this is just one starting attempt at being able to do that and it's going to take much longer than a week for us to get used to that but I think this was a good way for us to start because it was all planned for us and we were able to go through it and learn the lessons that we needed to learn about eating clean. Um, so that's all I have about this vlog and about the clean eating challenge. If you want to keep following along on my journey of losing weight and getting healthy, you can subscribe to my channel. I would love it, love, love, love it if you subscribed. Um, and if you liked this video, let me know down below by clicking on the thumbs up button. Um, if you didn't like it, don't downvote it, please. <laughs> But I will be um, back with a new vlog next week. I do vlogs every Sunday, so you can come back and you can see what we're up to this upcoming week. Um, hope that you enjoyed watching the vlog, and I'll see you next time. Bye!